The debut trailer for Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin elicited quite a varied reaction from watchers when it aired during the E3 Square Enix showcase. Aside from the onslaught of memes piled on social media regarding the trailer's constant usage of chaos, there was an immediate critique about the character's design and dreary atmosphere. The tagline of a bold new vision for the Final Fantasy was questionable. Sure, Team Ninja would be helming the project, but would their unique perspective manage to give this Final Fantasy a distinct new identity and miss the dull coloration? After playing through the demo, I'm excited to say that this upcoming game very well might level up to its bold tagline if its missteps are approached with elegance and refinement. The demo begins with the protagonist Jack and his two companions, Ash and Jed, entering the Shrine of Chaos. Their objective is simply to kill Chaos. I can promise that that's the last time that I'm going to say Chaos. We aren't told of any underlining motives or characterizations regarding the cast or even how they have ended up in this world as we focus mainly on the combat. Players controlled Jack, who has enough depth to warrant being the only playable character in this demo. There are multiple jobs he can utilize such as warrior, mage, and lancer, and then there's advanced jobs that can be unlocked, which are upgraded variants of their original forms. The variances of builds can get confusing when trying to grasp the combat potential, but each job controls uniquely with their attack speeds and abilities. One of the central features is a break gauge, which both Jack and enemies have. If this gauge depletes, stun takes effect and is assuredly a fundamental mechanic that can turn the tide of battle. When fighting, there is a parry mechanic called Soul Shield, and this is truly where the heat of the combat lies. Properly utilizing it grants swift reprisal and increases MP restoration with the caveat of a lowered break gauge. There's too many intricacies within the combat system to discuss, but needless to say, the menus become a common sight with constant gear reshuffling. Reminiscent of systems found in games such as Neo, gear is dropped by enemies and found in the chest, each having their own sets of stats and abilities. There's even a mechanic with certain equipment that grants bonus experience for specific jobs when worn. Speaking of experience, each job has its own skill trees, and the ends of these trees are how advanced jobs are gained. When it comes down to it, each component and mechanic ties strongly into one another, thereby requiring requiring thought into a vast spectrum of a puzzle with each choice. The demo does grant a tutorial right from the beginning, but the deliveries of information are mostly substandard and devoid of context. This is undoubtedly an experience where you learn by doing rather than reading. Terrain impacts combat with pillars and fallen rocks acting as a main shift cover for ranged or swift ground-based foes. With fighting being the evidence-centric focus of the game, the lack of puzzles and such makes sense, but I would still like to see more variation in the designs. One of the major faults I had with the demo was the party member AI. There's no way to command Jed and Ash as they instead do their own thing whenever the hell they feel like it. At best, there's somewhat decent light damage add-ons, but not much more than that. Their HP and break gauges aren't viewable either, which can make them a hindrance. Enemy AI can shift focus from Jack to his companions, and it can ruin the flow and pace of the battle when they mindlessly get stomped on. Improvements to communicating in battle with Jed and Ash need to be at the forefront of any given feedback. Secondly, the frame rate takes a few hits. It was reasonably poor in some areas, most notably in locations that were sprawling with numerous enemies. I have no doubt that this issue would be addressed in the full release, but it deserves some mention. My hesitation regarding the character design, mainly Jack's, were thankfully non-existent the further I played, as his attire changes depending on the gear he has equipped. This may not change some people's minds because his base appearance is quite plain and not comparable to typical designs of the series. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin was a shockingly thrilling and addictive experience. After the reveal, I wasn't expecting to have this much fun, but credit where credit is due, the game has a lot to offer. There's a decent flow of action linked to a job class system that encourages variety. The experience is only enhanced on hard mode, so if you have the opportunity, give this demo a try. Stranger of Paradise Final Fantasy Origin is releasing on PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, Xbox One, and PC in 2022. Thank you for watching. Please read the full preview at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content. Noisy pixel.